Hello, the title says it all, so let's go. Trapper. For Trapper, let's make it so that if a survivor steps in a trap, they get downed, even if they escape. Honestly, with how often survivors actually get trapped, I don't think this will make Trapper that much better, or even make him good, but it just makes sense. I mean, these traps are meant for bears, not people. You try stepping in one and we'll see how you favor. Wraith. Honestly, I think Rafe is perfect, but if I got to give him a change, I'll make it so that Rafe can attack while invisible, but only short range, not really lunge, but the moment he lands a hit, he becomes visible. Is this necessary? No, of course not. In fact, this will definitely make him overpowered, cause even with no lunge, he has speed on his side. Hillbilly. Okay, this will be the only actual meaningful change. For this guy, just lower the sound his saw makes already. If you've seen my shortened Billy, the chainsaw is so loud, even when I've lowered the volume, you can barely hear me over it. I hate it almost as much as I hate playing him. Nurse. Make it so that Nurse can only see scratch marks when she is in between her two blinks. So you blink once and all of a sudden you are like spirit and see only scratches and blood. This way the best killer players in the game can keep their OP killer but at least you reduce the number of nurses out there. Since behavior won't rework her, this is perhaps one actual possible way to change her for the better. Myers. Poor Mikey. This guy needs more than one change. But for a dumb one, give Myers building in cities. Just like in the movies, if he stands still, he becomes undetectable, allowing him to be hidden in plain sight. Hag. Make it so that when Hag teleports, it causes a second explosion, which just like the first one snaps nearby survivor's camera towards Hag. Will this make her better? I don't know. Will this even do much? Who knows? What's the point of this video? None, obviously. Doctor. Okay, so if a survivor is in Madness 3 and Doctor shocks them, he gets to see their auras for a couple seconds. This makes Doctor better in chase and encourages him to use his ability more. Will this annoy survivors? Of course, but now Doctor will annoy the hell out of survivors for an in-game reason. Huntress. Listen now, have you played Angry Birds? The OG game was cool, but then space came out and it was so damn cool. The game mechanics were better too. One of the best quality of life changes for space was adding a trajectory line for whenever you shoot. So yeah, just add one for Huntress please. I like training wheels. Bubba. Add grandpa to every game. Now with every hook you get, grandpa gets a little bit of food. When fed enough, grandpa wakes up and reveals all survivors from time to time. I mean, it works for the Texas Chainsaw Massacre game, so why not DBD? We do know which one of these two games will last longer after all. Freddy. Give us old Freddy back. I know it's been years since his initial rework, however I believe that old Freddy was better for the game regardless. Maybe give him building exposed against sleeping survivors just to make the 7 seconds it takes for them to fall asleep more reasonable. Pig. I don't know what to do for Pig so let's just go with a classic and nerf her. Maybe reduce her traps too. Yeah, that sounds about right. Clown. I'd give Clown a third bottle type. Currently, he has a bottle which slows survivors and one which speeds up anyone. Let's add a green bottle, which slowly poisons both survivors and generators within it. Essentially, if survivors spend too long in it, they take damage, and the same goes for generators. This way, you can damage a gen without having to go all the way to it, and this will also make survivors leave the gen for a bit. Spirit. Make it so that if spirit stands still for two seconds, survivors start hearing the vacuum sounds as if she's phasing. You know, the standstill tech from before. It's not really good for the game, but damn if it's not some of the most hilarious shit possible in Dead by Daylight. Legion. Start the game with all four Legion members in the four corners of the map. Legion can switch between them at will like twins, but survivors can't actually kill the other members like they can Victor. To compensate, let's give it a cooldown, why not? What could go wrong? Plague. Remove the mechanic where she automatically gets corrupt purge if all fountains are used. Instead, if all fountains are corrupted, play gains the ability to consume them at will whenever she sees fit no matter where she is. And if she does so, the corrupt purge will last like a minute longer, maybe two, something of the sort. Who knows? Ghostface. Add the cashier from the Ghostface trailer in the match as an NPC. Survivors can talk to him and you can kill him. Does he do anything? Not in the slightest. He just seems like a chill dude. 
Demagorgon, you can no longer create a portal anywhere on the map. Instead, there are predetermined spots for them. However, after you've placed one portal, you can immediately use it to get to any other spot, creating a portal once you come out. This way, it will just make the gameplay more fluid and perhaps dynamic, I guess. Oni. Blood orbs will now slowly drift towards the survivors who they came from as long as they are injured, that is. It's a minor change that allows Oni to find the ones who refuse to heal and anyone who might be willing to heal them. Deathslinger. Add a critical spot to survivors and make it so that if Deathslinger hits them right on it, his hit becomes an instant death. You can go with the usual video game head spot or use a more lore accurate abdomen shot that like rips their guts out or something. Pyramid Head. Make Trails of Torment infinite. The only reason why is because one time I played a match against this really good Trongo player and we ended up goofing off after he killed half of us. To communicate we pointed and he rode with the trails but that took forever because of how little trails Trongo actually gets. Come on behavior, don't silence the Trongos. Blight. Originally I was gonna recommend infinite rushes on a cooldown but the PDB got there before me so what do we do now? Maybe just remove Blight's ability to use add-ons. He's strong enough even without them. Plus, they seem to still be way too overtuned on the PTB. Twins. Revert all the bug fixes. Just return twins to their original state upon release. Just to dunk on the few twins mains out there. I'm not saying to do this permanently. Maybe for April Fools or something. For the lols, you get me? Trickster. Give Trickster the ability to jump over any terrain. However, he can basic attack for a bit afterwards, but only use his knives. Hopefully this makes the Trickster a bit trickier, as at the moment the only tricky thing about facing the guy is making sure not to miss the disconnect button. Nemesis. Remove the healing syringes. Or at least half of them. Just cause I am not biased, you are. Shut up, this is my video and I can say whatever I want. Just buff him, please. Pinhead. Make that one iridescent add-on basic. The one that limits the range, survivors can see the box. Except, allow one survivor to see the box as usual. This way, the survivors will be forced to take turns dealing with the box, wasting the time of everyone instead of just one person. Artist. Give her a secondary ability, which allows her to swarm a generator. For every gen swarmed, Artist has one less scroll in her disposal and she can never use all her birds on generators. What this means is that if she has three crows, she can have up to two gens swarm. When a survivor interacts with a swarm generator, they get swarmed themselves as usual and Artist gets a noise notification and all the usual benefits. It's just a way to give the other birds something to do, as when I play artist, I tend not to use more than one bird at a time, so why not get some more use out of all my birds? Sadako. Once a survivor reaches full 7 stacks of condemned, that's it. They can no longer use tapes or any other means to get it back down. Your time has come and Sadako is coming for that ass with nothing you can do to stop her. Dredge. Highlight locked lockers in yellow. So, if you want to go to a gen and there are two lockers next to it, if one of them is locked and the other one isn't, by seeing one aura in yellow and the other one in white, you can make the right choice. It's a small quality of life change and a little help, since to be honest, Dredge does need a lot of help. Wesker. Double the amount of voice lines, both quantity and frequency. Why not? He sounds cool. Knight. Allow Knight to collect the standard of his own guards. Doing so gives the guard a slight boost in whatever way you see fit and increases the time they spend chasing by a couple seconds. Skull Merchant. The predictable man would say to delete her from the game. And I, what am I if not predictable? Though in reality I have neither played as or against her, so I don't really have any opinion on the matter. Singularity. Make it so that if Singularity targets a slipstream survivor from a camera, the overclock is twice as long. So killers are encouraged to use cameras in the middle of chases for both the first and second tag, not just their gun. Alien. Allow the Xenomorph to throw turrets at survivors. Why you may ask? Simple, I answer. Because they annoy me. I understand why they're needed, but the sound, the VFX just irritate the hell out of me. So I might as well get some use out of the damn things, why not? 
Chucky. Lastly, for Chucky, I'd make it so that performing a basic attack while in hidey hole mode makes it end. Right now, you can do two basic attacks base kit before hidey hole mode ends. Make it one instead. A minor nerf for the little guy. I'm sure survivors would ask for more, but I don't have much of an opinion on Chucky, to be frank. And that's all. I'd appreciate it if you liked, subscribed, and maybe even left a comment. Maybe check out the other videos on the channel. There aren't many yet, and hey, the algorithm says you might like this one, so why not? What could possibly go wrong? Well, there is only one way to find out.